This episode was made possible in part by the Van Ekren family, founders of Lando Frost, and the Hamill Family Foundation. It's Christmas time, and our nature-loving pals are each getting ready for the holiday in their own special way. Daisy is decorating with flowers. Ah, man, oh man, I love the smell of fresh pine. Ba-bam! Squeaks is making an ornament out of, what else? Cheese. Cheesy the snowman, oh, you know he tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Cheesin's greetings, that's yummy. And Hal has just hung some solar-powered lights on his doghouse. Titty, baby! Ah, there's Nature Cat. He must be doing some Christmassy thing that involves giving back to nature, because Nature Cat loves to give. There, I made my Christmas list. Here's all the stuff I want to get. Of a what, Nature Cat? I want a new scratching post, a laser pointer, a squeaky toy, cat. Fa la 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 la. la. Something is different about Nature Cat. He thinks that Christmas is about getting and not giving. Oh, brother, I think we're going to need an extra special Christmas episode to deal with this problem. Oh, would you look at that? This is an extra special Christmas episode. Wonder what it's called. Oh, a nature carol. This ought to be good. I want a hula hoop and a spring toy and a video game with angry pickles and... Um, Nature Cat, you know Christmas isn't all about getting presents, right? <laughs> I know that. It's about presents and lights and Christmas music and shiny Christmas baubles. I don't think that's it either neither, or either neither. Let's just call the whole thing off. Sure it is, Hal, my pal. Take it from me. I'm the guy with the most Christmas spirit in the entire universe. Tell us, Christmas expert. What's the secret to having so much Christmas spirit? If you want to have the most Christmas spirit, you got to make everything bigger, shinier, louder, and more Christmassy. Take the decorations on your doghouse, for example. What about them? These are good, but they can be even better. How? You know what? Can you just sing a song about it, please? Hang lights of blue and green and red and white that is the whitest So everyone in town can see your doghouse is the brightest So it's gonna be a great big Christmas A really, really great big Christmas Even if your lights aren't solar powered Now let's take a look at Daisy's garland What? What's wrong with my garland? Oh, don't get me wrong, it's very nice Thank you But... But what? When you string your garland all about in that December cold, make sure you fill that evergreen with clinking, clanking gold if you want to have a great big Christmas. Oh, I want to have a great big Christmas. Great big Christmas. Great big Christmas. What about Squeaks' a snowman of cheese? Huh. What? What's wrong? I can fix that. When making baubles for your house like a snowman made of cheese, teensy weensy just won't do. Let's make it bigger, please, if you want to have a great big Christmas. Do we want to have a great big Christmas? I think I want a great big Christmas. Then let's all have a great big Christmas. Make it big. Make it loud. Make it shine. Wow. It's gonna be a great big, great big, great big, great big Christmas day! Oh boy, I really want to celebrate Christmas in a great big way! Hello, sweetie. Great big If you want to do something really big, you can volunteer at the annual Christmas Critter Crochet-a-thon. Annual Christmas Connor runner -thon? What's that? The Christmas Critter Crochet-a-thon, where we crochet stuffed animals for those in recovery at Racer Raccoon's Animal Hospital. For anybody who never sees to amaze, that sounds awesome! Helping and crocheting? That's two of my favorite things! Oh, and Granny Bunny, too! <gasps> That's three of my favorite things! I love you, Granny Bunny! Come on, let's go make some stuffed animal dolls. So sorry, Granny. We have no time to crochet right now. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Why don't we have time? I'm not working right now. Because we have something even more Christmassy to do. Uh, but what can be more Christmassy than helping others, Nature Cat? We are going to decorate the woods. Uh, what? 
the trees in the woods. We're going to fill them with lots of lights. Why would we want to do that? Imagine the electricity bill. So that all of nature can see how much we love Christmas. Well, I don't understand, Nature Cat. You always love to help animals in nature. <laughs> uh, this is helping animals. Now come on, let's go decorate those woods. Sorry, Nature Cat. I'm going to help Granny Bunny. Wait, Squeaks, Hal, don't you want to show the world how much you love Christmas? I sure do, Tutu, also, also, as well, well. <laughs> then let's go decorate the woods. But Nature Cat, what about the little dolls for the Critter Crochet Bethorn? Or whatever. We can crochet dolls any day. The time to decorate is now. Let's, let's decorate! decorate! I give you lights. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I mean, it's definitely the brightest. And also the brightest. Hey, who turned on these lights? Yeah, what's going on here? It's too bright. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, like, so confused. Uh, shouldn't it be night? Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I know. What's going on? I don't think they like the lights, man. Nonsense, Squeaks. They're just running off to tell all their friends about our marvelous Christmas display. I don't think so, Nature Cat. All, all these decorations are making light pollution and it's bothering the animals. Especially the voles. But come on, it's so Christmassy. Hey, who turned out the lights? Joy to the world! What? Click. Aha! Who are you, you little Christmas menaces? Oh, we're not menaces. We're the Scratchits. Hello! The Scratchits? What a convenient name. Oh, yeah. I'm Bob Scratchit. This is my wife, Martha Scratchit, my daughter, Belinda Scratchit, and my son, Peter Scratchit. Don't forget me! And that's Tiny Tim. <gasps> oh, my goodness! Oh, Tiny Tim is just the cutest! I want to know why you keep shutting off my Christmas lights! Well, those lights are too bright. Hmm, if only someone had said that ten minutes ago. Hard for us to find food or stay safe with all those bright, blinky lights. Who needs to eat? It's Christmas! A time to celebrate, get presents, have fun, and get presents. We do love celebrating Christmas. Well, then, if you love Christmas, just enjoy the lights. Well, they do look pretty. I guess we could skip the meal and celebrate. That's the Christmas spirit. Here, take a set of lights for yourselves. Come on, kids. Let's go back to our very bright tree hole and not be able to forage for food so Nature Cat can have his lights. Hmm. They didn't even say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for what? For decorating their home for Christmas, of course. Nature Cat, you heard them. They can't find food or stay safe with all this light pollution. This isn't right! You're right. It won't be right until we add some music! We can have the loudest Christmas display in all of nature! All right, that's it. That's not how you celebrate Christmas. Count the mouse out. Bye, Nature Cat. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hal, where are you going? With squeaks. Come on, Hal. Don't you want to be a Christmas lover like your pal, Nature Cat? Yes, I do. I really do. And do you have one of those in my size? Whoa! <laughs> Then let's make some Christmas music! This is going to be bigger and louder than any Christmas display in the world! Hold on there, Scratchets! What do you think you're doing? We're trying to turn off the loud music! I need to play my Christmas music so all of nature can hear it! Ah! What are we gonna do, Pop 
Papa. <sighs> the only thing we can do. It's time for us to go. Go? Leave? What? But what about Christmas, Papa? Christmas is wherever we're together. Follow me. Scratch it, come back. Hal was so upset about Nature Cat disturbing nature and the animals leaving the forest that he turned and sadly trudged back to his doghouse. Hal? Where are you, Hal? Well, it's time for me to get some rest anyway. <sighs> Tomorrow is Christmas, and I want to be ready to celebrate. <laughs> what was that? Huh, must have just been a Christmas vision. <laughs> That's it. It's Christmas Eve, and it's time for bed. Thoughts of sugar plums dance in my head. I can hardly wait for it to be here. I'm off to sleep. Gonna close my eyes. Tomorrow there'll be a big surprise. It's the greatest day out of the whole year. When I wake up in the morning, It'll be Christmas when I wake up in the morning. Just tomorrow morning when I wake up in the morning. It'll be Christmas. Displays are displaying. The music is playing. The lights are all lighted. And I am so excited. We feel so great. I'm flying high. Who loves Christmas? This guy. The presents are waiting just for me. Stockings hanging. Tree is lit. Santa will come in just a bit. So it's time to snuggle up beneath the tree. When I wake up in the morning at the break of dawn, -ing. when I wake up in the morning, it will be Christmas. <sighs> was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. <laughs> Wait a second, someone must be stirring. I distinctly heard a kathunk sound. <laughs> I did hear a kathunk sound. Hmm, sounds like Nature Cat is getting a late night visitor. <laughs> Who, which, where, what was that? <sighs> it's coming from the roof. Someone on my roof on Christmas Eve? Ooh, that could only be one person. <laughs> Santa Claus? Hello, Nature Cat. Oh, hello, Ronald. Not just plain Ronald, they call me Ronald Morley. <laughs> Ronald Morley? But you look just like regular Ronald. Oh, yeah? Well, can regular Ronald do this? Oh, no, he cannot. What do you want from me, Ronald Morley? I am a Christmas spirit, and I have been sent here to warn you. <laughs> if you were going to warn me to move out of the way, you're too late. No, no, no. I am here to warn you about something different. Something very, very important. What? What is it? What's the very, very important warning? Uh, I can't remember. What? But you just said it was very, very important. I don't know. It's something about wanting too many presents. Why would I need a warning about too many presents? I have no idea. Presents are awesome! In my opinion, you can never have too many presents. Yeah, that's what I think. Ooh, do you have any presents? Because I really want a Christmas present right now. <laughs> huh? Uh, no. But I want a present. I need a present. Give me more, more, more! Ah! Spirit? I think I just remembered why I'm supposed to warn you. Why? Why warn you with words when I can warn you with a song? 
My name is Ronald Morley and I can't fit through the door. Cause I have so many presents, I can't move across the floor. I tell you of my problem and you just must not ignore. You see, I'm never satisfied cause I'm always wanting more, more, more. I want more. Let's take a trip to the toy store. Yeah, more, more. I want more. Instead of one, give me 54. Yeah, more, more. What I adore is more, more, more. Every time I want a stuff, I also got a dime. I have a trillion dollars now, cause I want stuff all the time. I want it here, I want it now. You'd better ship it prime. So what if I want everything? Is that some sort of crime? a trip to another store. Instead of one, I want 84. More, more, you know the score. It's more, more, more. <laughs> give me this. Give me that. I'm a present loving cat. Give it here. Give it there. They're all for me and I won't share it. With a box, in a bag. Make sure it's my name on the tag. Wrap it up with a bow, and I'll drag it with me wherever I go. More, more, I want more. Let's all go to a superstore. Instead of one, I want a thousand and four. Come on, more, 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 more. So, are you completely changed by my song? Uh, not really. I still want lots of Christmas presents. Oh, well, I tried. Oh, I forgot to mention, since you haven't changed at all, you're going to be visited by three... three more spirits tonight. Three? But I need my sleep. I want to be wide awake tomorrow morning so I can enjoy all of my Christmas presents. Sorry, it's the rule of Dickens. Spirit visits always come in three. How about two? Nope, it must be three. Yes! <laughs> Toodles to the oo. Wait, when will the spirits come? And what will they look like? <gasps> will they be scary? Ronald? Ronald Morley? Whoa. That must have been a bad dream. A bit of bad Christmas fiddles before bed, I think. Yes, that's it. Now it's time for me to get back to sleep. Time ticked on, and the hour got later. And soon, something strange started to happen. I thought you were a spirit. Oh, I am a spirit. Spirit? But you look just like Daisy. Could Daisy do this? Ba -bam! Ah! Whoa, not the Daisy I know. You really are a spirit. Not just any spirit. I'm the spirit of nature past. I have no idea what that means. It means I'm the spirit that can show you things that happened in nature a long time ago. Oh! Uh... Nope, still don't got it. Come, we'll visit nature in the past when you were just a little kitty. I'm going to visit me? Ooh, let me get my camera. No need. I'll bring my phone. Uh, that's your phone? I'm from the past. It's the best I can do. Now, let us visit nature in the past. We 
can travel very far. This is just my backyard. Yes, but it's your backyard a few years ago. Really? Take a look for yourself. Ugh, whose Christmas tree is that? Man, oh man, this dried lavender will look really sweet here. But bam It's Daisy! When she was just a young bunny. Adorbs. I think I'll put this paint apart down here, man. And squeaks when she was just a little mousely. Oh, don't forget me, don't forget me, it's me, Hal. Oh, it's Hal when he was just a cute little puppy. Hiya, Hal, my teeny pal. What happened? Uh, Hal? Hal? Nature Cat, nobody here can see us. Really? Phew. Hal, Hal, over here, Hal. Look at me, Hal. Hal! Whoa, this is weird. What are we supposed to do now? We're just supposed to watch. ta -dee. Squishy the Elf will hang right here. Thank you, Puppy Hal. Why, thank you, Squishy the Elf. Oh, love it. Sweet. I remember this day. This was the first Christmas we all spent together. Boy, we decorated that tree better than any tree ever. Are you sure you're remembering correctly? Oh, yeah. We had tons of lights and decorations. If you say so. Oh, how are we going to get the star on top? Daddy, hell! That can't be! There are so few decorations and zero lights! There's no way I'd be happy with that! <gasps> it's amazing! What? Nature Katoon, can we give you your presents now? I don't need any presents. I didn't need presents? Are we sure that's me? Yep, that's you as a kitten, all right. Now keep watching. <gasps> Whoa! Where did you get these? My granny bunny helped us make them. This is unbelievable. I'd forgot they'd made me my first hat and sash. And I was happy with just that. Well, what do you think? These are the greatest gifts a kitten has ever gotten. Now I have something for you. Oh, okay. That must be my Christmas list with all the other things I want for Christmas. I don't think so. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Ooh, ooh. I made a list of all the things we can explore in nature. I call it my nature curiosity list. Ooh, find out where a stream begins. <gasps> explore the tippy top of a mountain. Dig deep into the earth and see what's there. <laughs> this is so cool. Sweet. Oh, I can't wait to do all of this. <laughs> and the best part is we can keep adding to the list because there will always be something new to explore together in nature. Thank you, Nature, nature Kitten. Kitten. Wait, I have something else. <gasps> what is it, Nature Kitten? I wrote a song for you. I call it Say Hello to Nature. Look under a rock or up in a tree. There is nature all around us naturally. Say hi to a bush. Say what's up to a plant. Say hola to a pigeon and a carpenter ant. So much nature all around. So much nature to share. So say hello to nature, cause it's everywhere. Hello. 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 Hello to all the nature hello. that is up and down. Hello to all the nature, hello. all the sky and ground. Wave to an eagle, soaring in the sky. Say bonjour to a bunny as he hops on by. Bonjour! bonjour. Say howdy to a hawk. How's it going to a vine? You can low five an oak tree, you can pound a pine. Nature's all around, nature's every place. Go out and say hello to nature. Say it face to face. Hello. 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 Hello to all the nature hello. on the land and sea. The world is full of nature. Hello. Say it with me. Hello. was a rousing song. 
But why are you showing me all this, Spirit? Because this was the day you became a defender of nature. I did? How? Oh. Watch! <gasps> oh, no! Whoa. Oh, no! Ooh! Hello, Squirrel. Hey, what seems to be the problem? I was only saying hello. The problem is, somebody's disturbing my log. Your log? Yeah, it's where I live, my home. <gasps> Your home, you say? Well, don't worry, Squirrel. No one messes with nature on my watch. Onward and yonward. Oh, I'm sorry, I should explain. When I say onward and yonward, it means I want you to follow me. Oh, I had no idea. That can work. Yeah, I don't mind it. Shall we try it again? Yes, yes please. please. Onward and yonward. I think we're supposed to do it now. Nature kitten, look! What kind of a thing would mess with nature thusly? <laughs> oh, hello, Ronald. Hello, Nature Kitten. What are you doing to that log? I'm lifting it with my little guy, Toy Crane. Whoa! Want to give it a try? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Come on, Nature Kitten. Wait, Nature Kitten! What about the squirrel? Yeah, that log is his home. Sorry, Ronald, but this log is the squirrel's home, and we must leave it alone. Oh, come on! He can find another home. This log is just so much fun to play with. Oh, no, my home! Tally ho! Hey! My log! It's not yours, Ronald! <laughs> I've got you now, Loggy. Not today. Um? Uh oh. How do you stop this thing? I should have read the instructions. Ah! Ah! ah well, I'll just go and play with my little guy toy bulldozer. Toodle to the ooh. Nature Kitten saved my home! Hooray! Hooray! Yeah! 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 So, do you see how much that young kitten cared for nature? I still love nature. Even more than Christmas presents? Well, maybe. Sometimes. Looks like you need a visit from some more spirits! And so Nature Cat found himself back at home. Hey, I'm back home! But where's that spirit? Spirit of nature past! Tell the other spirits there's no need for them to visit because I've changed! I no longer think that Christmas is about lights and decorations and presents. <gasps> oh boy, a present! <laughs> Look at yourself in the mirror, ma'am. You haven't learned a thing. Oh, uh, Squeaks, it's just you! I am not Squeaks. I am a spirit. But you look just like Squeaks. Really? Well, could Squeaks do this? Uh, no. Squeaks definitely couldn't do that. <laughs> uh, what kind of spirit are you? I am the spirit of nature present. <gasps> Ooh, I'm getting a present. Oh, my goose, you're obsessed. With what? With presents. It's weird. Ooh, so I am getting a present. No! <gasps> It's not present like Christmas present. It's present like right now. Do I need to whiteboard it for you? <sighs> oh, I get it. But it is almost Christmas, so I should be getting some presents in the present. This is ridiculous! <sighs> but I got a job to do. <laughs> What's going on? I do all my traveling by cheese. Cheese, the smarter way to travel. Christmas! Come on, let's go see all my friends so we can celebrate! I gotta warn you, man, I'm not sure they're in the mood to celebrate. Nonsense! Of course they are! It's Christmas! <sighs> okay, you asked for it. There's Daisy! I bet she loves how I decorated her garden! I wouldn't count on it. Just listen. This is gonna be painful. Ah! Uh... 
I can't believe what Nature Cat did to my poor plants. He and his over-the-top Christmas is ruining nature. It doesn't feel like Christmas when you're angry at your friend. You don't feel very merry, and you really can't pretend. Don't feel like baking cookies or a mincemeat Christmas pie when you and your buddy just don't see eye to eye. Oh, it doesn't feel like Christmas. <sighs> oh, no. Something tells me she doesn't appreciate my decorations. Really? What gave it away? Well, I've seen enough. Please, Spirit, take me to a different friend. Okay. Cheese time, cheese trouble, cheese, cheese, cheese. Haha, <laughs> there's good old Squeaks enjoying my robotic Christmas concerto. I can't stand all this noise! It drove away all the animals and now it's driving me crazy! All of Nature Cat's Christmas celebrating is ruining nature! Doesn't feel like Christmas all because of Nature Cat and his music that is banging with a rat a tat tat tat. You can't knit a Christmas sweater or play with Christmas toys when all the thumping and galumping is making so much noise. No, it doesn't feel like Christmas. I can't believe it. How could Squeaks not enjoy my Christmas music? It's so festive. Some might call it festive, others might call it ear-splittingly loud. It's noise pollution and is not good for nature. But it's good for celebrating Christmas! Oh, tell me, Spirit, why are you showing me all this? Because you can't save nature without your friends. I have friends. In fact, I have a best friend. Take me to my best friend, Hal. As you wish, as you please. Stand here under the time travel cheese. is my best buddy, Hal. He always appreciates me and all my Christmas spirit. <sighs> Why, Nature Cat? <laughs> Why? It doesn't feel like Christmas, so oh, it feels so bad, I swear. When your best friend in the world, he just doesn't seem to care. Doesn't care to crochet a doll for a recovering fawn or foal. Or a merry mousy family who was forced from their tree hole. No, it doesn't feel like Christmas. No, it doesn't feel like, feel like, feel like, doesn't feel like Christmas at all. I do care, Hal. I do. He can't hear you, man. What did he mean? A mousy family forced from their tree hole. He means the Scratchets, remember? Impossible! The Scratchets are still at home! Are you sure? Of course! I'll show you! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Scratchets! Scratchets! Come on out, Scratchets! Bob! Belinda! Tiny Tim! They're not there, Nature Cat. Yes, they are! I know it! They're gone. Oh! Ee, ah! A little help, please! Uh, okay. One, two, three! Ah! <sighs> they weren't there. Again, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so! If they're not at home, where are they? If you want to see where the scratches have gone, stand here beneath the parmesan! What are we doing here? Look, it doesn't feel like Christmas when you just can't find a home. A warm and cozy burrow, so on and on you roam. It doesn't feel so merry when you don't have a comfy bed. Or a nest to snuggle up in so you can rest your weary head. No, it doesn't feel like Christmas. Tiny Tim doesn't have a home? What? Why? Hmm, I think because someone made their home so bright and noisy that they had to leave. Who would do such a thing? Oh, wait, that was me. Maybe I should change. Maybe I should take down all those marvelous Christmas decorations. Did you just sing that it doesn't feel like Christmas? Well, it 
Does it, Papa? We don't even have a home. How can you have Christmas without a home? As long as we're together, you along with me. No matter where on earth we are, we're a family. So take my hand in your hand, and let's all sing this song. Cause when we're with each other, we really can't go wrong. It will always feel, it will always feel, it will always feel like Christmas. It will always feel like Christmas. Hug us, hug us everyone. Oh great, I don't have to change at all. Looks like the Scratchits are gonna be just fine. Time for presents, everyone. Presents? There are presents? Of course there are. Here you go, Peter. An acorn helmet. Wow. A pinecone soccer ball. Oh, I love it. Oh, joy. A homemade twig sled. Wait, those are the presents? Yep, those are the presents. But they weren't even bought in a store. They're just made from stuff in nature. They can't be happy with them. Well, see for yourself. These are the most wonderful Christmas gifts ever. Yeah! How can they be so full of joy when they have so little? Perhaps Christmas is not about presents or decorations or lights or incessant bad music. Then what is it about? If you spare me a moment, I will tell you everything your heart desires to know. <laughs> okay, everybody, that's my time. I've been Spirit Squeak. Thanks so much. Wait, don't just leave me here. Spirit, where are you, Spirit? Don't leave me, Spirit. <laughs> What just happened? I must have been sleeping. <laughs> yes, that's it. It was all a crazy dream. And now I'm going back to sleep, and I'm going to dream about candy canes, marshmallow snowmen, and other happy Christmas stuff. Just when Nature Cat was about to fall asleep, as you can probably guess, something strange happened. <laughs> Windy night. Turned off my Christmas tree. Ah! What was that? Ah! Are you another spirit? And what spirit are you? No, oh, Hal, it's you. I'm not Hal. I already told you I'm a spirit. But you look just like Hal. Well, yeah, well, could Hal do this? Actually, yes. Hal stands on his head, like, all the time. Oh, yeah, I guess it's not that hard to stand on your head. But you just have to take my word for it. For I am the spirit of nature yet to come. Come, 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 come. The spirit of nature yet to come? Yes. The spirit of nature yet to come. Come, come, for the second time. Uh, does it do that every time you say your name? Oh, yeah, every time. I love it. <laughs> the spirit of nature yet to come. Enough! For now, it is time to show you your future. Okay, wait, let me try that again. Time to show you your future! Uh, is something supposed to happen? I think so. I'm kind of new to this spirit of nature yet to come thing. Wait a minute, I know! I need my magic squeak toy! Now it's time to really see your future. Spirit Mr. Chewinski, do your thing! This is your backyard. Give us a... Huh? Where are all the trees? You chopped them down to make room for all the toys and gifts you got each year at Christmas. That's impossible. I would never do such a thing. <gasps> My 
I had Sash. What are they doing on the ground? In the future, you don't need your nature cat stuff. What do you mean? Why wouldn't I need my nature cat stuff? You changed your name. I did what? You didn't care about nature anymore, so you just changed your name. But if I'm not nature cat, uh, who am I? Oh, it's so cool. Here you come now. Merry Christmas to me. Oh, hi, you. It's me. That's me? Oh, yes. That's you, all right. If I'm no longer Nature Cat, what do I call myself in the future? Well, you're in luck, because you're about to find out with a song. I'm the cat who's got the most, the most toys you've ever seen. I got teddy bears and blocks and everything in between. Call me Christmas Cat, because Christmas is where it's at. Lots of presents for me under my Christmas tree. It's all for the Christmas Cat. Imagine that. You may think I have it all. Well, I don't. Now, here's the twist. The things I don't have yet, I just add them to my list. I want a video game and a rubber shark. I want a choo-choo train that glows in the dark. I want a jelly bean maker, want the newest phone. I'm the Christmas king, so I want a throne. I want everything, as you can see. So tell Santa, bring them all to me. Bring it to the Christmas cat. Who wants this and that? Christmas cat. Oh, that's that. Christmas cat! Well, it looks like I have every toy I could possibly want. S so I must be happy, right? Take a look for yourself. Ha <laughs> ha! Catch! Hmm? What's wrong with me? You're lonely in the future. Lonely? Why don't I just go and play with my friends? You don't play with them anymore. Not play with my friends? That's impossible. What's this? Why, it's my nature curiosity list. What happened to it? You stopped being curious about nature. But surely my friends still love nature. None of them are here anymore. What? Another impossibility! My friends are always here. I'm afraid they're not. Yes, yes they are. I'll prove it to you. Where is it? Where did it go? What are you looking for? Daisy's garden. It was always right here. Where is it? Well, you cemented over it. Why would I do such a thing? To build a landing pad for Santa. Daisy, where are you, Daisy? Daisy's gone. She moved away when she lost her garden. No, 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 no. Squeaks, Squeaks. We gotta go find Daisy, Squeaks. Squeaks is gone too. But she loved to play in the trees here. You got rid of all the trees, remember? Oh, what have I done? <gasps> Hal, I need to see my best buddy, Hal. Oh, Hal's dog, Hal's. <clears throat> Thank goodness it's still here. Yes, it is. Hal, come on out, Hal. Hal? Wait, where is Hal? He moved away when you turned his doghouse into a storage room for your toys. That wasn't very nice. He really liked that house. No! <laughs> Wait a minute. What about the Scratchets? Bob, Belinda, Tiny Tim? Did they ever come back? Well, no one knows what happened to the Scratchets. They never returned. None of the animals did. No animals, no trees, no friends. <laughs> and this is what happens when there are no more nature heroes. Tell me, Spirit, is it too late? Can I change all of this? What do I have to do to get my friends back? To get nature back? The answer is... Well, looks like my time is up. Wait, Spirit! I want my friends! I want nature! What do I do? Sorry, I'm off duty! Good luck! Wait, Spirit! Don't leave me alone! Spirit! Where are you? What is Christmas, Spirit? I really thought I knew. Thought that it was wrapped in gifts and stuffed in stockings, too. Why is it so far away? Why can't I find the reason? How come I can't catch that spirit of the Christmas season? Christmas spirit, don't you care? Christmas spirit, fill the air. 
Christmas spirit, please come through. Christmas spirit, I need you. It's not twisted in a candy cane, not baked inside a pie. It's not lit up in a window pane or in a garland hanging high. Christmas spirit, are you there? Christmas spirit, please come share. Christmas spirit, time to start. Christmas spirit, fill my heart. It's a feeling that you want to give. Don't care if you receive. It's the feeling that you want to share. That's the spirit I believe. It's a feeling that you want to care For the earth and all that grows For animals and friends And trees in the meadows Christmas spirit, you are there Christmas spirit, everywhere Christmas spirit, I can see Christmas spirit, you're in me And so, Nature Cat awoke from his night of visiting spirits, and it was Christmas Day. Wait, it's Christmas? Today is Christmas? Are you talking to me? Obviously. Well, usually nobody talks to the narrator. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm desperate, and no fourth wall is gonna hold me back. I need to know what day it is. Look at all the presents under the tree. It is Christmas. And so, Nature Cat was so excited by all his Christmas presents that he forgot all about the spirits and began to open his presents. Wait a minute, Nature Cat. Why aren't you opening up your Christmas presents? Uh, because Christmas is about so much more than presents. And so Nature Cat realized that Christmas wasn't about getting presents. It was about giving to his friends, to the animals, to all of nature. That's exactly right, Mr. Narrator Man. And now it's time for me to give back. You go, Nature Cat. Two, three, four. Come sing a song. And if they dance, I'll dance. It's not too late. There's still a chance. And if I can, I'm gonna find a way. I think I know. What I should do for all my friends and nature too I'm making changes and they start today Cause when I woke up this morning Yes, this lovely morning when I woke up this morning It was Christmas! <sighs> Daisy, oh Daisy, your garden is still here! Whoa, 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 back up there, mister! You can't put any lights on my holly bushes! I wouldn't dream of it, Daisy. In fact... Tally-ho! Done! But what about all the lights to celebrate Christmas? Don't need them. This garden is perfect just the way it is. And so are you. Merry Christmas, Daisy. And a Merry Christmas to you, Nature Cat. Squeaks, it's you! It's really you playing up in the trees! What? I can't hear you over all the noise! No! There is no more noise, Squeaks! Listen! <sighs> huh? Oh, silence. <laughs> There's no more noise. There's no more noise! You were right all along, Squeaks. I don't need loud music to have a great Christmas. I just need trees and nature and the friends that I love. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Come here, you big lug. Uh, give me a hug. Merry Christmas, Squeaks. And Merry Christmas, trees! Hal! 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 Oh, no. Where's Hal? Piggy! Ho, ho, ho! I'm Santa Hal! Oh, Hal! Oh, are you trying to get me to put up more bright and noisy Christmas decorations? No, Hal! I don't care about decorations or getting gifts or Christmas goodies! I want to give back! I want to help others! I want to care for nature and all its little creatures! Like the Scratchits! Yes, the Scratchits! I need to find the Scratchits! May I present our Christmas feast! 
Hooray! Hello, Scratchit family! Oh, no. He probably wants to decorate out here, too. Now, now, dear. Where's your Christmas spirit? We need to invite him to eat with us. <gasps> Fine. <clears throat> Please, sit down on a rock and have a slice of bean. No time. I need to open up this bag of bright lights and loud music to celebrate Christmas. Wait just a nature-loving second. Seems like someone replaced the loud music and bright lights with Christmas goodies! Merry Christmas, Scratchit family! Uh, it's a Christmas miracle! Look out, Bully! Here it comes! Oh! <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Tiny Tim. But why eat here when we could share it back at your tree? But what about those bright lights? And the super loud music? I got rid of it all! I'm sorry for what I did, Scratchits. Nature is your home, and I promise I won't do anything to mess it up ever again. In fact, I will do everything I can to protect it. Always! Hooray! I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Hug us! Hug us, everyone! Now that we're all together, let's celebrate Christmas! Ooh, should we play some games? Or open up some stockings? Ooh, or eat some Christmas cookies? I have a better idea. Is this for me, Nature Cat? Yes! Now come on, let's explore nature! <coughs> Tally ho! <laughs> it's Christmas morning, no more time to sleep. Open up your eyes, come on, take a peep. You see the snow laying on the ground. But something different changes all around. Cause you see the world with brand new eyes. At Christmas, at Christmas. You see the deer is swaying as it's drinking from a pond. You'll see icicles sparkle like they're from a magic wand. You'll notice every partridge up there in a pear tree. You'll understand how much it means to have a family Cause you see the world with brand new eyes At Christmas, at Christmas The beauty of a beehive The mystery of a cave The magic of a snowflake The power of a wave Whee! The rushing of the wind The cuteness of a chickadee The warm and happy feeling between you and me Come see it on the mountain, come see it at the sea. Open up your eyes, come see it all with me. Come see the world with brand new eyes. Come see the world with brand new eyes. On Christmas, on Christmas, on Christmas. Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also, subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime Video channel.